Uh, I'm done answering questions. All right, sir. I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle for me, sir. For what purpose? Step out of the vehicle, sir. I just need to identify you. That, but for what purpose? You're, you're making it harder. All I'm, I'm trying to do is... I'm trying to make it lawful. All I'm trying to do what, is... What law do you think I broke to pull me over for? You were down there. You pulled I, into the... Yes, I, I did. didn't know what you were doing, right? I turned around. That's the warden's I told you residence. Doing. That's the warden's residence. I turned state around. Property, I didn't right? know who's it was. It's state property. So I came so down it's here public to identify... Property. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by Rogue Nation. If you have not already subscribed to their channel, please go and do so. Today we're taking a look at the Georgia State Patrol, another department that has no clue what reasonable articulable suspicion really is. Not only do they convolute reasonable suspicion, they also conflate it with the person simply being suspicious. We're going to take a look at a Georgia State Police officer who does not truly know what reasonable articulable suspicion truly is. Remember, in my video when I told you guys why I left the department, I explained that when I left the academy, I had no clue the difference between reasonable articulable suspicion versus probable cause. Well, we're about to take a look at a state police officer in Georgia who still does not know what reasonable articulable suspicion is, but the sad part is neither does his sergeant. Let's take a look at this video and then we'll dive more into it later. Hi. Everything all right, sir? Yeah, we were just, I was checking out something out on the map. Okay. All right. You do realize you stopped there, back there? In, in yeah, we thought it, we thought we could get through, and then we saw we couldn't, so we turned around. All right, you got your driver's eye switch. I do. Is it, is, am I getting pulled over for something? Well, you pulled into the water driveway back there to turn around. Yeah, and we're trying to figure out what you were doing. We're trying to identify you. Is that uh, illegal? How's my ID going to tell you what I'm doing? Well, we're ID. Uh, we're trying to identify you. Okay. For what? May, may I please have your driver's license? Is that a lawful order? Yes, sir. May what what infraction do you believe I've committed? Pulled over over here on the road, and I checked yeah. that. Out. Because so I was going to look at the map. I didn't want to get on my cellular device well, that's good. while I was driving. Well, that's good. I appreciate it. Do you have your driver's license? I have my driver's license with me, but I'm not certain I'm required to give it. Can you state some sort of statute or yes, sir. some anytime sort of infraction? Anytime you're requested by law enforcement to provide driver's license, you have to provide driver's license. If, if you've committed some sort of infraction or you turn crime. Back there. Is that, that illegal? illegal? Was that and, illegal? And, and you pulled in, so we're trying to figure out what was you're that doing illegal? Now. We were trying to figure out. I understand that. We're trying to figure out what you're doing there. Right? You're not to figure out what I'm doing, police. You're the law enforcement. Police. And that, we're trying to figure out. It's suspicious. Right. So we're just trying to figure out what you were doing there. Is, one of, your, is, is one of these cars your supervisor? Yes, sir, it is. I'd like to talk to your supervisor, please. You're going to talk to me right now. And do you have your driver's license? I, I'm not. I don't think I'm required to give you my driver's license. And I'd like to talk to your supervisor to find out. Yes, sir. May please, may I please get your driver's license? I, I'm, I don't believe you're giving me a lawful command, sir. Yes, yes, I am. For, for what purpose do you need my ID? What what crime do you or ordinance do you suspect me to have broken? Because it was suspicious of you to pull. Suspicious the is that a misdemeanor or is that a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? That's articulable, reasonable suspicion that you were of doing what crime? something. That you were loitering or something like that. Do you have? Do you have evidence that, that I was loitering? Sir, you pulled in back there, did you not? I turned around, yeah, because I saw that I couldn't get through. You couldn't get through. We, the road was open. I, I don't know oh, I saw. It looked like there was checkpoints for getting into the prison or something. So we turned around because we didn't think we could get through. As you can see from our plate, we're not from here. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand that. Do you have your driver's license? Uh, I, I don't. I'm telling you. Am, am I lawfully required to give you my ID? Yes, sir. Yes, what, sir. What, for what purposes am I lawfully required? Well, I'd, I'd just explain to you, sir. Suspicion isn't a crime. And I didn't break any ordinance. Of a suspicion, yes. Of, of a, a crime. crime. Of a crime. Of a suspicion that you turn around can, back Can I just talk something. to the supervisor that's back there? No, sir. So the problem is, coming out of academies, they allow you to think that simply because you're a law enforcement officer, if you find someone suspicious, then that means you have reasonable articulable suspicion. But that's not true. Let's find out what reasonable articulable suspicion really is. Reasonable suspicion has been defined by the United States Supreme Court as the sort of common sense conclusion about human behavior upon which practical people are entitled to rely. Further, it has defined reasonable suspicion as requiring only something more than an unarticulated hunch. It requires facts or circumstances that give rise to more than a bare imaginary or purely conjectural suspicion. Keyword here, conjectural. We're going to visit that. Reasonable suspicion means that any reasonable person would suspect that a crime was in the process of being committed, 
had been committed or was going to be committed very soon. So I'm pretty sure most of everyone already knows what conjecture means, but we're going to read it. Conjecture, an opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. We saw the driver present the question several times. Is suspicion a misdemeanor or a felony? And the officer always replied, we're trying to figure out what's going on. That's conjecture. That's incomplete information. Reasonable articulable suspicion must be based on facts and circumstances. So simply put, I can't just look at you and say, hey, that's suspicious. So that means I have reasonable articulable suspicion. No, I think your blue shirt is suspicious, but that does not give me legal grounds to detain you. We're seeing more and more police officers are separating the crime element from the suspicion. So when they see someone, they say, hey, you're suspicious. So therefore I can detain you. That's not true. It must be more than simply suspicion. It must be suspicion of a crime, a crime that was committed, being committed or about to be committed. I need your driver's license. Uh, I'm done answering questions. All right, sir. I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle for me, sir. For what purpose? Step out of the vehicle, sir. I just need to identify you. That, but for what purpose? You're, you're making it harder. All I'm, I'm trying to do is... I'm trying to make it lawful. All I'm trying to do what, is... What law do you think I broke to pull me over for? You were down there. You pulled I, into the... Yes, I, I did. I didn't know what you were doing, right? I turned around. That's the I told you what residence. I'm doing. That's the warden's residence. I turned state around. State property, I didn't right? know who it was. It's state property. So I came so down here to identify you. property. That's state property, okay? Public property, then. That's state property, okay? okay. So, so is it illegal to turn around on his property? Well, it's, it's, it's articulably reasonable suspicious that you're performing something a turn illegal around? there, In a or you're doing something there, when we have other things going on. So if I can, please I, identify you, I'm not you, from sir. In this town. Okay, and that's fine. And all I have to do is identify you, we can get you on your way. How is identifying me going to tell you what I was doing? Well, we're making sure that well, you're not a wanted person. You're what, somebody that, that's going to go down what? and harm the harm the, the warden or something. The so idea is I'm, not going to tell you that. I'm making a formal request for your supervisor right okay. now. Okay. Well, that's fine, sir. I'm formally but making a request right make, now for I'm your supervisor. I'm making a formal request that you provide your driver's license. But it's not a lawful request, correct? It is a lawful request. For what reason do I need to uh, Like I, I said, this? articulable reason, especially... What, what is the statute? 35.3611. What's your statute ID? It says that if you've committed a crime, if you have... Uh, in the commission of a crime, Megan, already step committed step a crime... Up, step out for me, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get identified, step, step and here. I don't think I need step, step to. Step back, step back here. For what reason? Step back here. Just what did he explain? Here. He explained that I turned around in someone's driveway. Yes, I did. Okay, I don't so know whose driveway was. Stop and listen. You asked Sir, me a question. I'm telling you exactly what I'm I doing. Don't, is it unlawful to turn around in a driveway? Let me explain to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Currently, there's been events happening there at the prison, correct? I don't know. I'm from, you can see I'm from All Florida. Right, so, okay. so this is what's going on. Okay. There's been events happening there at the prison the last week. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I pulled into so a driveway. Here. I didn't know whose driveway was. Wasn't posted for trespassing. Well, if you were to sure your phone to, to your buddy, he can record with both phones, but you're going to step out here and we're going to try to identify. Well, how is stepping out going to make me identify? Because you're, you haven't cooperated. I asked you okay, multiple so times. So I'm going to ask here. you, sir, so you're a su supervisor, correct? It doesn't matter. This is his stop right now. But, but this, is this a lawful request yes. for my ID? That is correct. Can you tell me what lawful statute or Sir, of what I, my wallet's down there so i can get you my id from down there can you grab i'm not gonna have you get there? it can you grab i was pointing I at it. it it's you right there it. that's why i was pointing at it you you think that okay. it, it's, so it's i'm going to identify myself let me see you i'm going to identify myself but i'm going to make sure to follow through with this because i don't believe it's by, lawful. by all means please okay. sir so i'm not telling you i'm so, not telling so you you're right just for the record you're identifying me right now for what purpose like I told you. Because you, you're suspicious. You because around. I'm suspicious. Yes, you turn around. You, you don't know everything that has happened. I don't recently. know anything that's okay. happened. I'm not so from I'm, here. I'm going to explain it to you okay. once I, I, I'm able to identify it. Okay. So, so you're identifying me for suspicious behavior? Yes, sir. And that's not a misdemeanor, nor a felony, It is. It nor be. have what, I committed a traffic infraction. We don't know what you're doing. But honestly. This isn't going to tell you what I'm doing. But so, just for the record, I have not made a traffic infraction, correct? Sir, you is that pulled, correct? You, you pulled into the water. Did I make a traffic infraction? Yes or sir, no? Sir, you pulled into a driveway that yes. does not yes, belong to you, right? I, yes. You don't know who it belongs to. Correct. I was turning right, around. So I'm coming down here. Practice. I've informed you. Yes. Well, I initially informed you. When I asked for your driver's license, you asked for the reason. I informed you whose who driveway that which, was. Which I asked, was that unlawful? Right. And you said, and yes. You said, I'm, I'm, trying to figure, I'm trying to figure out because of the My ID is going to make it yes or not unlawful? Yes, sir. My ID is going to change whether it's lawful or not. I am handing you my driver's license yes, under sir. duress. 
Under uh, threat okay. of, am I going to get arrested if I don't give you my license? Sir, you can be charged. I'm just asking for your driver's am license. Am I going to be arrested if I don't give you I'm my driver's license? I'm just asking for your driver's license. Yes, sir, if you can be arrested. If you you're can. asking for it, I'm going to say no. If you're requesting it, requiring it by law, I am requiring under it by threat law. of arrest, then I will I am I will requiring it by law. Yes, sir. Okay, so I am going to get arrested if I don't ID myself. There is state law that says when you are requested by law enforcement. It's a yes or no. Yes, okay. if you're required by law enforcement, okay. you must provide your driver's license. All right. If there's a reasonable suspicion. This is articulable reasonable suspicion. You just proved it. Of what it. crime? Of what crime? Whoa! Whoa! Simple battery. You just battered me, sir. Step out here. Because I've given you lawful commands. I, and you have my ID. Please, please. And give, you have my ID. Please give your phone to your friend, and we're going to step out here. Okay, I'm stepping out. You don't need to manhandle me. I'm, I'm stepping not, out. How am I manhandling you? Step out. Step out. Okay, I'm stepping I'm out. Not, I don't want you doing anything to, to put the vehicle in drive, because I've had I'm, that happen I, I'll shut it off. All right, thank you. I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that. I apologize. Step, step back okay, I'm stepping back. We're going to step in front of my car. We'll get out the road. Here. No. As we see, this is a real problem in America. Police officers do not know when they actually have reasonable articulable suspicion because they don't know the difference between that and just someone being what they deem suspicious. Therefore, you must know your rights because as we see, the law enforcement officers, they don't know the law. Therefore, they don't know your rights. So make sure you do. Down below is a link to my ebook. I want to help you learn your rights. Also, you can click the link above my head. It's going to help you to know what you can and cannot do when you encounter police. Make sure you know your rights. If you don't use them, you will lose them. That being said, we the People University, signing off.